Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is another problem of Node.js intermediate certification and this is really an important problem and of a different type. Okay, here we have to write an authorization middleware. So first we will talk about the readme file like what is the problem statement and then how we are going to solve it. Okay, so complete the middleware.js module. This is what we need to do it. The module's default export is an express.js middleware. Express.js middleware is a simple function which takes a request response and next function. This function should parse x role header that will give us the role value. The scope of the route is passed in the middleware like scope name and action name. For example, to check user has access to a particular task, this middleware has to decide that the user has access to this particular route or particular task or not. Okay, so in the this is how the role scope objects looks like. Okay, and this is inside a rules.txt. Okay, yes, this is a, actually a text file which is of JSON like. Okay, this is the text file and what it says is okay admin role will have a scope of create and get by id tasks okay this is the scope of the admin so the role of the property so from this header x role we will get the role of the user then you will check in this file if the role is equal to the role which is in the roles.txt then only we should be allowing user to access these tasks if role is admin then we will check okay the task is create or get by id or not Okay, this property which has to match with the X role header, right? An object containing the key value pair corresponding to the scope name of the system. The past scope name doesn't match with any of the key. That means user doesn't have access to send 403. The scope name is a dynamic key. You can see the task has a, this array. Okay, now what we can do is, this is a middleware.js. What we are doing here, it's a simply a simple code we uh, I didn't try to make it complex what we are doing is we are checking if role is there okay if role is not there then explicitly send 403 because these routes are protected so role must be there in the headers if role is there then we have to start reading the roles.txt file okay if we are if we see any error while reading the file that means 403 if we go to, uh, the role here we also getting the scope okay we are passing the scope in the middleware that contains the method name and action okay and here we get the the content of the text file which is a mapper now here the only logic is line 30 we need to check this particular role which is specified in the x role is allowed for this scope or note based on this text file okay so we have this kind of a content in the file this is the content of the text file if and this is we are writing a middleware function where we are going to pass the scope now we have the role from the request header we will check that this admin role is allowed for this scope or not so that is being done on the line 30 check role here we are getting the scope this is the mapper means json object local scope action and role all three things we have we have whatever the content from the text file what is the current role of the logged in user what is the action and scope that user is looking for okay so how we are going to use it so i will check some particular route there we might be using this middleware and we are passing the scope and both the things so this is the scope this is the action this is the scope this is the action and how we can pass a middleware like express dot uh, router dot get router path name middleware and then handler this is the syntax so we put the middleware here we are passing a string this is a scope and this is the action now if we go to the middleware the same middleware which we are writing so we got the scope name so from the scope we got we split this string using dot and we got the scope name and action scope name is uh, if we just go to the routes scope name is tasks and action is get by id and create now we got everything we got the the json passed uh, i mean the processed json which is a json object from the file 
we got the role of currently logged in user we got the scope name we got the action everything is there this is the only code we have to write we are iterating onto this array object mapper and we are checking the role if role is same as the role which is passed in the request then only we should allow otherwise we will return false if the role is matching we will get the scope from the file file json object and then we are just checking if the scope is matching if the the, the scope which user is asking like tasks dot create task dot get by id is available in the scope of the file that means we want to allow and if we are doing nothing we are just checking inside a scope yes task is there so if you already know like uh, this is a json object i will just open the readme file and we will get the the sample json file from there so sample json file contains the role and the scope attribute this is a sample json file let's copy and paste it so we can see things closely okay here we are checking first role then we are checking the scope okay scope of task local scope is a task and action name is create or get by id so we are checking in the scope task is a property or not if yes that means now task is an array so here scope of local scope local scope means the get by id and create if it is there local scope is there that means user is allowed to perform this particular action that's it and when you run the, all the test cases everything will pass so there may be a multiple or different set of problems you may see on hacker rank which is doing nothing but you they will ask you to write a middleware middleware will take some inputs like the role or some so any kind of argument and you will be given a file you read the file you process the file and you get all the role all the actions which are allowed in that particular file and then you check what is being passed from the router to call the middleware we are passing like scope is tasks and action is create yes for admin if the role we are passing in the header is admin then he is allowed now we can also check the tests what kind of tests we are executing so you can see we are passing role customers so it will be 403 we are passing invalid role it will be 403 okay here we are passing let's say the bottom test cases here we are passing admin so this is a task and task by id it should be allowed task create it should be allowed right so here also we are doing the same set of things and for all all of these because role is not specified so it will be a 403 so all these test cases will give you a validation okay your test case your code is correct whatever you have written in the middleware.js you are uh, uh, reading a file so we are using fs module fs.read file we have roles file there already in the text file we are reading it and we are because this is a text file we have to parse it back and sometimes uh, you you will see a parse error so this is additional check i have added like while reading the utf co encoding of the file i'm just removing some special characters and then doing the parse and then I, finally i got the object i'm passing that in a check role this is really very important problems i have seen these kind of problems in multiple places like write a middleware read a rules from a particular file a lot of node.js problem statements revolves around the fs module and writing these middlewares and the complex things okay thanks everyone